Governor Babajide Songolu has reaffirmed his administration's unwavering commitment to the Themes Plus Age development agenda, which aims to create an enabling environment for businesses to grow and thrive in Lagos State. The governor stated this in his keynote address at the 9th Lagos Corporate Assembly. And Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedekun tells us more in this report. Gathered in this hall are members of Lagos State's business community, comprising chief executive officers, CEOs, captains of industry, and leaders of business membership organizations for the ninth edition of the annual BOS Meets Business Community event themed on parking barriers to ease of doing business, accelerating business growth. Governor Babajide Sawunlu was represented by his deputy, Hamzat Obafemi. He commended the resilience of the business community despite the current global economic challenges confronting their operations. The implementation of this agenda, we have initiated numerous policy reforms to facilitate business operations in Lagos. We are simplifying regulatory processes, improving infrastructure, and leveraging technology to streamline interaction between businesses and government agencies. Our goal, therefore, is to minimize bureaucratic blockages and create a seamless experience for all businesses operating in our state. Commissioner, Ministry of Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment for Lachadi Ambrose Modibem spoke on steps taken by the ministry to ensure a conducive environment is in place for businesses to thrive in Lagos State. Cooperatives, Trade and Investment, MCCTI, is in the post process of constituting an ease of doing business team that will be tasked with interfacing with stakeholders in the business community via a one-stop shop virtual interface. This will be technology-driven to meet the demand of the highly digitized local and global investors community. The virtual one-stop shop interface will be enabled with robust connectivity to strategic global business gateways. As in the tradition, participants had ample opportunity to get responses to some burning issues bogging their minds. We tend to believe the governor promised that the fourth mainland bridge will commence February this year. This is July. Is government telling us the truth? The fourth mainland bridge was built through PPP, public private partnership. So, and I don't know if you followed it. It was advertised internationally and locally by, I think, 15 companies bidded. It was narrowed down to one. To one. So the preferred bidder, of course, the secondary bid now. That was not even done by Lagos State government for transparency. So our financial people, I think, was P. Uh, or something. Uh, the, our lawyers were learning more agile. So we got private sector to look at the sector. Okay, so the process is ongoing, but so they need to also raise finance. The government's unwavering commitment to improving the ease of doing business in Lagos State was reaffirmed during the day's engagements, which reverberated as a clear message. Love Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.